Uh, good morning. Um, today we've got a really nice opportunity to have a look at and talk about one of the really nice bows we have at the moment at the Sydney String Centre. Um, so this is a bow by Eugene Sartori, made in around 1935. And really, Sartori can be seen as like the, the end point of pretty much all French bow making from Francois Tort in the early, early to mid 19th century, all the way through uh, until the early 20th. And all of that development work really ended up in Sartori's workshop. They are just absolutely remarkable bows and you can really feel that development as you play. One of the players who really supported his work and used it quite thoroughly was Eugene Asai, who was a really, really important figure, both in the world of violin performance and composition, and who really drove forward a lot of violinistic practice. And you can really get a sense of the, how the bow's development really impacted the development of violin technique. So a lot of Yasai's really ferocious and, and um, incredible pieces like the ballad and all the sonatas, all these incredible violin, violinistic techniques that he used, those developments came from and started with these bows. And he wouldn't have been able to do what he did or play as he did on any other bow. So they're a little bit sturdier than, than the, the forebears and they've got this just incredible quality of artistry to them. And so it is a real pleasure to, to be able to have them and play them and learn from them. Um, the same way that figures like Uzai did. So in just a second, we'll have a quick play. Um, and I hope you appreciate these birds as much as I do. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try this beautiful bow, please head to our website, violins.com.au, to book an appointment. For more videos like this one, please like, share, and subscribe.